Welcome to a, another commentary done by Diggity. Upper end corner, we have Jedi One starting as the yellow Protoss. Bottom right hand corner, we have Tucson starting as the red Terran. This is game four between Jedi One and Tucson. Tucson is up two to one. And this is BSL season 14, round of eight. So if Tucson wins this match, he will advance to the round of four. If Jedi One wins this match, we will see a game five. And instantly, we see a probe wandering out to sneak up some shenanigans. This is Butter, sneak up some shenanigans, to be up to some shenanigans. This is Butter, and I kind of like this play on this map in particular because it's gonna, I guess it's risky either way, because if you are going for proxy gateways, you're exposed, but if you can continually apply pressure, even if the initial rush doesn't succeed, you can box your opponent out and allow yourself to buy time to get a third base and establish some stuff. I don't know. We'll see how this plays out. But right now, looks like we're going to see a gateway just outside the natural expansion. So Zealot's inside Tucson's base very rapidly. Let's see how he is able to defend and respond. Right now, he does have that supply depot alongside. This does cover a lot of... If he builds the barracks, usually in the typical, typical location, kind of down to the corner, that is going to give him a good amount of coverage towards this mineral line. Probe moving in, also going for the gas steal, which means it's going to be a delay on that factory. Sometimes what this provokes is a earlier natural expansion grab. So we'll see if Tucson gets the scouting information, finds the proxy gateway before he makes the mistake of trying to play, and actually that would be like a next level play. Although this SCV scout is going to be able to wander in and find a lack of a pylon inside Jedi One's base. And usually if you're going for a 12 Nexus, yeah, this pylon's not even going to be online by the time I think this SCV wanders in. So first sell it on the way. Tucson just now going to recognize, okay, there's only a single pylon warped into the space. That means I've got units coming into my base immediately. First Marine produced. That's provoking this bunker. The probe trying to get across and delay. Able to get a little bit of damage on that initial SCV. Still trying to harass this line. It looks like a single SCV dedicated there. The Zealot pushing in but getting linebackered by four SCVs immediately. It's going to go ahead and wander back. Two Marines now on the line. The probe actually backing out as well. Bunker has been established, and it looks like the Marine's going to be able to get inside the bunker. So Tucson, unfortunately, you can't target fire with this, so now they're working on that assimilator. Jedi One holding up, waiting for additional units potentially to get in here before he's going to make a run. Jedi One has grabbed... His assimilator, I believe that is going to be his cybernetic score warping in. And more Marines now being produced. Tucson looks like he's handled this admirably thus far. Even to the fact where it looks like he's going ahead and saving up some minerals potentially to just go ahead and... But we'll see how this plays. Proxy Engineering Bay to make sure a natural expansion can't be taken by Jedi One. That's gonna so a Zealot's gonna need to come back home or Probe's gonna have to work on that. First Dragoon being produced. But there are enough Marines that this is gonna be an easy defense from Tucson. It's gonna be a while before he's gonna be able to get that initial factory out though. Range is upgrading. So now Jedi One hoping for the next stage of things where he can potentially get range and Dragoons in his opponent's base before he's able to get initial factory units produced, but there is a long queue of Marines for Tucson. The bunker does disrupt gas mining a little bit, so small mercies. First Dragoon now joining the Zealots, but this is still not a sufficient attack force. Marines eating a little bit of damage, quickly chewing through. Well, one Zealot able to get on top, second Zealot able to get a little bit of damage. The SEV taking a bit of fire, but that Dragoon misfiring and is now going to get swarmed by Marines. Absolutely boxed out, and that factory on the way. So the Dragoon having to exit. Two more Zealots have been produced. The Marines overstepping their bounds. Two Dragoons 
Two Zelts now chasing the rest of those troops and SCVs off the line. Two Zelts get separated. Let's see if they can go for a pincer attack between all this. The factory still a ways away from being produced. The bunker here in the background. So now two Zelts able to stop the factory from being produced. And is range complete? Range is going to complete momentarily. That engineering base still boxing out that natural expansion. The Marines completely unloading. So it's going to be down to SCVs. It looks like that factory, actually, I take it back. That factory able to get reestablished. Jedi One not being very diligent on keeping the SCV off that factory. The factory floating a little bit forward. Is he just going to go for a siege tank to start with an engineering bay? So engineering bay being dropped. A bunch of Marines off the line, but keep in mind these Dragoons do have range. However, as things stand, Tucson losing some mining time behind this, but is over currently ahead in the worker lead. Dragoons trying to peck away at this, having trouble between the artifact, between the natural. Now, Tucson engaging the SCVs on top of everything else. The Marines pushing the Dragoons back. And with that kill, the worker count still dead even. A siege tank being produced. Probe's still trying to work on that engineering bay. Four Dragoons at the natural expansion. Keep in mind, even if a siege tank pops out, that's sufficient Dragoons potentially to punish. And more Dragoons coming, it looks like. So it is the dance back and forth. This Dragoon getting pinned in, eating a huge slew of damage. It's going to micro forward. But getting wiped out ultimately. First siege tank out. No siege tank yet. Now siege tanks and Marines and SCVs able to box in another Dragoon. Four Dragoons now at the natural. Still working at the SCV. So Tucson's worker count dropping to 20 at the end of this and still able to box out and have the threat at the natural expansion next is coming online jedi one with huge aggression early now looking to continue it keep in mind four dragoons can chew through a siege shank very rapidly which is why this is being held back a second factory snuck in the back corner from tucson Working on the machine shop, we have three siege tanks, however, six Dragoons. Single Marine, you have that bunker, so now you have the siege tanks and the bunkers in that back, in the back alley here. And the Dragoons walking into the bunker range, overstepping their bounds, trying to pick off siege tanks. Three of two of them taken out, a third just escaping with a little bit of its life. Group repair on the siege tank from Tucson going to be able to whittle down the Dragoon count and so Jedi one getting a little bit too aggressive going too deep into enemy territory still economically might pay off for him because he's delayed this natural expansion quite a bit of time his natural is up and running however he does need to get something yeah it looks like he's got a robotic facility being built at home base a crazy match to start the Dragoons, three Dragoons still waiting outside that natural. Siege check, not upgraded, actually going for Vulture follow-up. Tucson wants to go for Killing Blow to follow this up. Three Siege Tanks, three Marines, two SCVs. Bowling towards that natural expansion and actually might go for an attack on the front. At the very least, gonna try to take out this gateway. The Dragoons at a distance being boxed out. Too many Siege Tanks to now push this back a third dragoon needs to be very careful about how it engages tucson now stabilizing behind in the worker count the vultures peeling forward there aren't dragoons in position to defend this there is a single gateway behind this Ooh, that dragoon's gonna have a hard time getting to the front that's actually putting jedi one in the red at a really bad time actually so the vulture is able to sneak in we already got two pro kills right there a dragoon actually where it's pinned might be able to be a decent defense here. First Reaver produced. This is also giving a scout to Tucson to know what he needs to produce. And all of that work from Jedi One now going down the drain. The worker count has evened. And plummeted. Down four workers now. Natural expansion. What is he doing? Ooh, accidentally attacking his own command center briefly. For how long was he doing that? Tucson accidentally killing his command center, and that's going to require... Woof! Glad he caught that, because that's going to require some repair. 
to get that command center back up and running. So two gateways, robotics facility. Oh, I'm missing a drop already. Man, this game is just nonstop action. It looks like SCV is being pushed out of the main. Wow, missing a lot of action here. So the able to get over the turret rings before they were able to establish. Shuttle gonna migrate towards the natural expansion. We'll see if we can get a, if it drops, we can get a seven kills already. Wow. So things moving right back. It looks like it's going to be a dud. Able to kill some of the SCVs repairing. I gotta, I think he's gotta be confused. Like why is this command center burning? Three siege tanks waiting for that daring that reaver to come out. Some vultures planting some mines in between. Dragoons need, need to be careful if they're gonna move forward because this is gonna be a while a while before an observer is going to be out to clear that. But now as things, I assume, settling a little bit. Never mind. Jedi one gonna go ahead and try to grab another nexus. The vultures are in position to potentially pounce on that. A single Dragoon is gonna be able to, no, he's not in position to blockade. So the Vulture is able to bully their way forward. Also gonna go ahead and wipe out that Dragoon. The Dragoon not even firing back. Okay, finally able to get one shot off. Maybe it was just not clear in all the fire right there. So now the Reaver having to push up on defense to take care of these Vultures. At the third, scooping up the probe. Very heads up play. So we'll be able to potentially get cannons down. But now, Tucson turning around and moving up with siege tanks, vultures, and a marine. We got two shuttles, I think two reavers, and a dragoon to try to defend this. Thinking better of it, seeing that, okay, he's got two shuttles, two reavers, just gonna back out. Handful of dragoons also on the front. So now, as things at the 12 minute mark, Two additional factories being plopped down. Tucson has two bases established. He's behind in the worker count, getting his armory down finally. Does have a mind blockading a potential fourth base, but Jedi One in a position where he's ahead economically, is grabbing his third. He's gonna have that third in good position. But Tucson already making movements as though he wants to grab his third very rapidly. Some turrets in the way, a siege tank battalion, four factories being planted behind this, which is usually more of a, I'm gonna produce vultures or get aggressive with something. Tucson behind 27 supply, but a wild one to start. Shuttle sneaking in, might be able to get a free shot on some of these siege tanks. Yeah, actually perfect timing. Well, maybe scooping up the very last second. Another shuttle walking in, needs to be careful. It's not just gonna full on get splatted. Mines finally getting cleared as the Observer moving forward. So Tucson leaving the Reaver and the shuttle in the wings, eating a big shot. Is he gonna... Looks like this Reaver might just die from negligence. Eating some... Eating two hits and now Tucson gonna plant that turret underneath, use that siege tank as a threat. And Jedi one not really in position to stop this third base from going up. Does have his third base running, but not yet saturated. Actually a little bit oversaturated at the natural expansion. Doing his thing, tacking on a lot of gateways. Does have that Citadel of Dune in the corner, trying to avoid a combat with it. And we'll see if we see a movement. Well, we'll see if he can macro or uh, honestly, Jedi One's been playing Gateway Man most of these instances. It looks like he is ahead in the overall worker count right now, but I don't think it's gonna... Just has not played out versus Tucson yet. Jedi One with a mine in the way. Is he gonna double expand? He's got probes in position, so he's gonna go ahead and grab one base in the upper left-hand corner upon seeing Tucson go for this expansion. Playing very greedy. Oops to speed things up there. Not to do that. We have that factory, or sorry, that uh, armory underneath, breaking on plus one weapons. Still sitting on four factories currently. Vultures streaming across the map. That could be a big disruption in the upper left-hand corner. The Dragoon's not in position to deal with it. 
So at the very least, going to be able to stop this base. However, there is the internal base in the upper left-hand corner that looks like it might get grabbed. Dragoon's making their way this direction. It looks like a zealot going to do some mine clearing. Is there an observer? I don't see an observer with the rest of this attack force. The Dragoon's going to pile in just to make sure these vultures remain pinned in. Going to be able to clear that mine with just the Dragoon. But a nice delay there on Tucson's part. He's getting Comsat up and running. Good amount of siege tanks. Dropping some scans. We got seven, eight gateways on the way. Several forges. So it looks like, again, he wants to try to just do it with ground troops. 30 supply lead. Does have his fourth base up and running ahead of Tucson, which technically puts him in an economic advantage. He still has the X factor of that shuttle wandering around. But I think Tucson is sitting, is going ahead and setting up. Yeah, he's tacking on additional factories. He's happy to go ahead and move towards the double armory. Let me just get to that 200 supply, get the weapons lead, and play from there. Science facility in place. Yeah, just tacking on all the factories. Let's hit 200, 200. Have superior upgrades and push from that stage of things. Reaver wandering over that six o'clock base to maybe stop that before it comes online. An additional base being grabbed from Jedi One. Yeah, he wants to play the uneconomically blanketing style. Running double forge upgrades. Interestingly, going for that shield upgrade. Some vultures sweeping into that nine o'clock location. I think this is lessons learned from previous games. Cannons rapidly. Need to pause. What was that? Hold on, everybody. Daughter commentary. Closed door. Okay, hold on. Be right back, everyone. of the uh, daughter in the background in the middle of this recording. <laughs> Alright, so we continue. Vulture swarming in to the 10 o'clock base. Looks like they're going to get a, a little bit of pro kills, but not getting much else. Jedi one behind actually in the work count despite being up on bases. Using the double shuttle to his advantage to go ahead and deny additional expansions. Zelts and Dragoons pressing forward. A lot of siege tanks being filtered in. Double upgrades on the way. The way this looks, actually, I'm wondering if Tucson's even going to move out before his level 2 weapons, level 1 armor is online. However, with all of these bases and all of the gateways, a big swing in supply to Jedi One's favor. And keep in mind, because of the 10 probe deficit, it's a really, really big army, but keep there no High Templar with this. More gateways being tacked on. Sidestorm is being upgraded. This is just pure Dragoon and Zealot. Maybe the shuttles will join this attack at some point. So he wants to just keep Tucson locked to three bases devastate that army before it's really able to accomplish something. Some vultures wandering in the north, finding the reaver there. And Jedi won very aggressively. The aggressive economic style staging up to go ahead and grab that 9 o'clock base. Jedi won hitting 200 supply well before Tucson. Dragoons filtering in to the right to push down from that angle. And another group of units to the left potentially swing down there. I think this is mostly to engage vultures should they squeeze out. But Tucson behind this 
Goliaths, Vultures, Siege Tanks, all waiting to join the fray. A Science Vessel and a Dropship also there. A few moments away, well, a good couple, good minute and a half, I assume, based on that bar, away from level two weapons, level one armor. The Dragoons and Zealots being pushed out of the middle of the map. And Tucson starting to make moves. Supply has now evened. So Dead Day 1, yes, he's establishing that 9 o'clock base, but can he hold it? Tucson driving in to the high ground plateau. The Zealots out of position along that right-hand edge. The tank's not even sieged, though. Some, tank, some of the Zealots streaming into the south, they're summarily getting taken care of. The Dragoon's now trying to get on top of everything else. But it looks like Jedi One just having an overwhelming attack force. Well, I take it back. All the tanks siege to the south. Great Psy Storm on a bunch. A second Psy Storm on a second grouping. But it does not look like Jedi One has enough to hold Tucson back. So the Goliaths and the siege tanks and a handful of vultures a handful being three in this instance. Going to take that high ground plateau that's going to threaten that nine o'clock base, but also that's going to allow Tucson to expand to the bottom left should he decide to do so. Siege tanks making their way to the upper left-hand corner. So Tucson, rather than playing defensive, he's gonna get aggressive. Recognizing that he obliterated Jedi One's troop base. Going to swing in. Actually going to try to attack two bases at once while that troop count is still waiting to filter back in. Two siege tanks being left here. Able to kill a lot of probes right there. The Zealots marching forward. The Zealots getting able, able to get right on top of those siege tanks. High Templar dropping as well. Decent side storm catching some of the Zealots alongside them, but another set of side storm actually really softening all of these siege tanks. Have just a little bit of health on some of them. So yeah, able to get one Nexus down but doesn't look like it's going to be able to take an additional Nexus. That's putting Tucson. Well, we'll see how this plays out though. More vultures streaming in. So reinforcements on the way. They're gonna be able to get on top of these high Templar as well, but not before side storms drop. See some vultures and mines get planted because Tucson is still threatening with the single sea shank, the probes at the 11 o'clock location. Dragoon's trying to swing in. Some siege shank reinforcements going to cut off the reinforcements from Jedi One. Jedi One down 40 supply. And now Tucson starting to squeeze the troop line, but a big mind drag blowing up a huge amount of vultures. Six siege shanks remaining, and it looks like they're going to set up camp outside the natural. Vultures streaming forward. Level two weapons, level one armor now online. That's leaving these siege tanks in the background to go ahead and clear out those bases. And Jedi One in huge trouble now. Needs to break out of a potential contain. Troops able to sneak up there. But while all this is happening, yeah, he's able to break out of this base, but he's not able to keep the base healthy and alive at the 11 o'clock location. So this is going to drop him to two bases, and Tucson's expanding to the six o'clock while all this is happening. And the nine o'clock base remaining completely idle for Jedi One. So it looks like with a big sweep, doing a lot with a, kind of stretch that out as, as well as you could stretch it from Tucson, honestly, some great play. Tank sieging up the natural expansion. Zealots swarming forward. The 11 o'clock is now gone. And Zealots continuing to try to defend this front door to keep Jedi One in this match. But Siege Shanks backing things up. And Jedi One, well, he does have a bank to work with, but more Siege Shanks are pushing in. And these Zealots just keep coming in one at a time, and it is not sufficient. So that is GG. Tucson with overwhelming attack. Really just a rapid sweep across the map, wiping out all of the bases. And that is going to give him a round of four berth. Hopefully we'll see Jedi One next season of BSL. Fierce competitor. Hope you guys enjoyed it and enjoyed the uh, guest 
interruption. Thanks for listening.